a versatile and super practical two or four berth camper van. This is our VW Pen tire based on a Volkswagen T6 Transporter. So this Pentire model is based on the VW T6 Transporter. In this one's case, it's presented in metallic starlight blue. Uh, this one is a short wheelbase, so it's 4.9 meters in length. Uh, there is also a long wheelbase version, which is 5.3 meters. So it gives you an extra 400 mil of living space within the conversion. Over and above the, the usual Highline spec, uh, we've added the, what we call the Bodan's appearance pack, which consists of alloy wheels, in this case 20 inch, but there is also an 18 inch option. Um, we've added this, the sporty looking chin splitter on the front there. And also we have the sidebars available in, in black or in chrome. Now, one of the nice things about the VW Transporter is the driving position. It's a lovely elevated position. Uh, so you get really good vi all round visibility and know what's going on around you. This is a Highline model that was sat in today. Um, single seats in the front, come with armrests as standard. So again, it makes you feel very comfortable in the driving position. Um, up front here, we've got a multifunction steering wheel with all the phone and radio controls on there. DAB radio with Bluetooth for streaming music and taking phone calls. Uh, with this being a Highline model, we've got air conditioning as standard, a USB up front here for charging devices, and lots of glove box area uh, and different compartments for hand, handy storage while you're using the vehicle. Uh, there's even a 12 volt outlet up here if you're using a satellite navigation system. Uh, and one of the beautiful things of a Highline is the heated front windscreen for all those wintry UK mornings. So all in all, the Highline is a, is a very car-like spec. All the creature comforts that you're used to in your no normal day-to-day -day car, you'll find in a Highline transporter. So moving round to the living area of the vehicle, I'm now firstly going to demonstrate the front seats. As you can see, this, this vehicle has got two single front seats uh, and we specify from the factory that they were both on swivel plates. Um, the swiveling action is very, very simple. Simply operate the little handle here on the front, turn the seat around and it locks into position facing towards the rear of the vehicle and into the conversion. Um, now this makes a very nice sociable living area for four, up to four occupants who can now sit and chat and enjoy their conversion experience. This conversion is fitted with a Remo front elevating roof. As you can see, it gives you much needed headspace within the conversion and makes the whole conversion feel so much lighter in area. Um, to the sides we have fly, fly nets and at the front we have a clear window to bring in lots of natural daylight. Being a four berth, th this conversion benefits from having a roof bed. Very easy to use, simply pull the roof bed down towards you and then use the front seats to climb up into bed at night. The mattress is already up here and this is fixed with three Velcro pads up here. To put the bed away for the daytime, simply go underneath by the hinge, a slight push and let the gas struts do the rest. This Pentire model is based on the traditional VW layout with a three quarter rib bed, uh, straight units down one side of the vehicle. Um, this offers a, a lot of cupboard space within the confines of this short wheelbase. Uh, so we have cutlery drawers here and here. We have a main storage here underneath, underneath the oven. And we also offer the overhead cupboards, optional worktop timbre. And then at the rear there, we have the tall boy wardrobe, again with the timbre door, and also the additional optional extra of the rear overheads. So all in all, giving you lots of cupboard space within this short wheelbase transporter. So moving on to the appliances that are standard in this Pentire model. Uh, firstly, we have the sink here, a nice deep sink with pumped water. We have a two burner gas hob with electro electronic ignition. Okay, in this, in this particular variant, we have a gas oven and grill. 
if you do, if you don't want the gas oven oven and grill, we can we can change this for a mains only microwave, or alternatively, you can opt out completely and just have extra cupboard space. Um, as standard, we fit the Dometic CRX 50 litre fridge. Okay, this is a 12 volt absorption fridge, very efficient, uh, with a freezer box at the top here. If you don't want the freezer box and want extra fridge space, merely take the freezer box out and store it somewhere safely, giving you much more usable fridge space. So in this Pentire model, we have all options covered in terms of the appliances within the conversion. As standard, the Pentire comes with a, a table, a fold-away table which lives here behind the driver's seat. And when in use, it's easily attached to the table rail here and can be moved up and down the vehicle to suit wherever you want to sit and use the table. Okay, to take control of all, all the appliances and lighting within the vehicle, uh, we have the main panel here. Uh, we have the master switch here that turns the whole conversion on and off. Uh, we have lighting, independent lighting switches, one for this side and one for this side. Uh, we have isolation switches for the pump, fridge and this auxiliary here which is the traditional 12 volt outlet there for things like freezer boxes for additional fridge or freezer capacity. As standard we have a USB point for charging mobile phones and other devices and we have a battery health indicator here. So all in all you have total control over the conversion and the items within it. Um, everything back here runs off the leisure battery which is situated in this cupboard under here. Um, now the leisure battery is charged in, in one of several ways. When you're driving, the split charge system um, takes the power from the alternator in the engine and charges your battery as you're driving. When you get to the site, if you're on mains hookup, you plug the hookup in and it's fully automated. That takes over the charging of the battery too. And also, if you're going to do a lot of wild camping, i.e. not on mains hookup, um, a worthwhile optional extra is to go for the solar panel that lives up on the roof at the rear of the vehicle, again fully automated, and that will trickle charge your battery while you're on site, but not on mains hookup. So with all those three things, you've got every option covered in terms of keeping your battery in a good healthy state while you're away on your adventures. So in terms of heating options for this Pentire conversion, there are two main op options. One, the Urbispatcher diesel heating system. This lives under the driver's seat, and it feeds directly off your main diesel tank. Secondly, we have the Propex gas system that runs either off your gas bottle or your underslung gas tank. Very good option for those campers who want to use their campers all year round. So I'm sat on the Rib Altair seat bed system. This one's 112 centimeters in width, um, and it's a very flexible leading brand within the camper conversion industry. Uh, it offers multi-position headrests, like so. In this one's case, two three-point seat belts, and also there is the option for Isofix for younger children's car seats also. Um, the way the seat is manufactured, it offers lots of space underneath the seat for storage. So on this side, we have lots of storage space for all your bits and pieces, and under this side, if you choose to do so, it actually is large enough to take the Dometic, Dometic porta potty. Now, to turn this seat into a bed when it's bedtime, very simple action. It's a three piece action. The first one is pull the handle like so and lift the seat pad over. And as you can see, with the nature of the operation of the bed, that you end up sleeping on the opposite side to what you sit on. So very, very flat and very comfortable. Okay, the second option is to put the headrest down, pull the bar and lower, lower this section. That. So as you can see, a nice flat bed area to sleep on in the evenings. Our preferred option at the rear of the vehicle uh, when specifying from the factory is a tailgate, the single lift tailgate feature, which is great because it offers you a ni nice protection from the elements and shelter underneath. At the rear here we have the back part of the rib bed, in this case it's down, which acts as a very good parcel shelf so we can put clean bedding on top and more dirtier and heavier items underneath in the payload area. Alternatively you can put this easily out of the way like so and that gives you an overall boot area. 
In the rear here, we have the steel safety box for the gas. This is compliant with all the latest gas leg legislation. So your 907 ga camping gas canister is safely housed in there. There is the option of having an underslung gas tank as well. Um, in here, we have the waters and the pump. Uh, and also a lot of storage at the back there for things like your mains cable, levelling blocks and other things associated with your stay away. Again, there is the option of the underslung water tank. Here we have access to the Tallboy wardrobe. So ahead of your adventures, you can load easily from the rear of the vehicle. And then a nice little feature here is the two coat hooks to hold your coats after a after a nice long country walk. So today's video have been about the features of our pen tire conversion. We also offer the Crantock and the Triego of which we will be doing videos very shortly. Thanks for watching today and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any comments, please leave them below and definitely give us a thumbs up on the channel and we hope to see you soon. Bye for now.